This video covers Higher Human Biology Unit 3, specifically Caria 2, the cerebral cortex. The key learning outcomes for this video are to give the three roles of the cerebral cortex, to give the function of the sensory motor and association areas of the cerebral cortex, to explain how information is transferred from one side of the brain to the other, and to st uh, state which cerebral hemisphere is responsible for processing information from the right side of the body and controlling um, the movements. The cerebral cortex is the area of the brain which we call the cerebrum at National 5. You might recall that it's the sensor of all conscious thought. So when you think or reason, it is the area that we use. It's also used to recall memories and to alter our behavior using our experiences. So when you go through trial and error, that is using your cerebral cortex. When you think, or when you remember things, this is cerebral cortex. There's overall three types of um, area for the cerebral cortex. And this is so-called sensory, motor, and associative areas. Your brain can receive messages from the sensory neurons and sensory um, organs of the body. And in doing so, allows our brain to understand its surroundings. Each sense has its information received by a different part of the cerebral hemisphere, um, but they're all roughly gathered into the sensory strip. If we look at how much of the brain was given over to each of the different parts of the body in terms of sensory information, we get a picture like this. So you can see that the area of the brain which um, receives sensory information from the tongue and lips is much, much larger than that um, for receiving information from the wrist. The fingertips get a huge amount of area of the brain for receiving sensory stimulation compared to something like the hips or the knees, which gets very little. The motor area of the brain in the cerebral cortex um, sends electrical impulses to the effectors of the body to cause hormonal release, movement, and general control of the body. These areas are termed the motor areas. As with sensory and association areas, you're not required to know exactly where the motor areas are, just that they exist. If the motor strip was shown as a homunculus, as uh, we did with the sensory one, you would see that a lot of the areas that contain a lot of sensory um, area of the brain also have a large motor area also. So a lot of your brain uh, goes over to controlling your fine motor control in your hands and uh, movement of facial features. Finally, we have the association areas of the brain. These were not covered at National 5 level. In short, when sensory information is received in the sensory area of the brain, it must be processed and understood by the brain. This is carried out by that sense's association area. The motor area also has association areas associated with it. In the case of extending your arm to pick up a cup, the motor association area would work out how the muscles must move to carry out this task and then send these commands to the motor strip to be sent out to the body. The motor association area can be thought of as the control center and processing center for the cerebral cortex. These association areas are involved in specifically language processing, personality, imagination, and intelligence. Interestingly, information from each side of the body is processed on the opposite side of the cerebrum. This means that the left cerebral hemisphere receives and deals with information from the right visual field, so what your right side of your face can see, and controls the right side of the body. The left cerebral hemisphere controls um, the right side of the body and uh, takes information from the right eye. Much of the creative language and understanding functions are carried out by the left side, while the more manual tasks tend to be controlled by the right. It's interesting that this means that information from the left eye is collected in the right side of the cerebral hemisphere. And this side of the brain is not capable of attaching uh, meaning or names to these objects. The information must be passed through a connecting portion of the brain called the corpus callosum. This joins the left and right hemispheres and allows information to pass between the two. This means that were the brain to be split in half, which is a treatment used uh, for some forms of epilepsy, that information seen 
by the left eye would not be able to be processed by the left hemisphere. The cerebral cortex is the center of conscious thought. It also recalls memories and alters behaviors in the light of experience. There is some localization of brain function in the cerebral cortex. It contains sensory areas, motor areas, and association areas. As stated before, we don't need to know where these are or a lot about their functions. There are association areas involved in language processing, personality, imagination, and intelligence. Information from one side of the body is processed in the opposite side of the cerebrum. Transfer of information between the cerebral hemispheres occurs through the corpus callosum, this connecting bridge. The left cerebral hemisphere deals with information from the right visual field and controls the right side of the body, and vice versa. The left uh, cerebral hemisphere controls the right 